I want to talk a little bit about bubbles. And, uh, God, I hear two different sides. I hear uh, the silver pump and dumpers. You know, silver's going up to thousands of dollars an ounce. Gold's going to be $20,000 an ounce. Bunch of bullshit unless the United States goes to oblivion. And uh, our American currency goes to oblivion. But I'm going to apply this lesson about silver and gold to real estate and all the experts out there. The $350 an hour CPAs and the $500 an hour attorneys and the people that had lots of millions to invest. All the experts. All the experts. And, you know, I want to put a something out for Mark Faber because... That guy knows what the hell he's talking about. I got a lot of respect for that guy. He goes where other people don't go. He makes investments where a lot of people are scared. <laughs> he turns out to be right. Well, he's over 25% invested in gold. Well, maybe he got stupid all of a sudden. I don't know. But, you know, I don't think so. You know, I remember back in the 90s, you know, this is a very large project. I'm not going to say what it is, but. It's a large project, and um, I don't know. I ain't going to talk about it. But uh, I remember back in the 90s, people were saying real estate was in a bubble because it was going up quite a bit. Well, the bubble didn't break till freaking over 10 years later, right? And that's just how it's going to work with gold and silver. Bubbles have a habit of going further than you think. Now, I personally hate eggheads with initials after their names. I hate them. I despise them because I know what they're about. They don't have the balls to take any risk themselves. I like working with entrepreneurs. I always have. And my mission is make it work no matter how you got to make it work. I mean, they always will. You know, I bite into something... It's like I don't let go. It's like 24-7. So, no limits. But uh, there's a lot of, and I could smell BS. That's one thing I think I have a very good handle on. And I know a lot of times, you know, you need to know a lot of different facts and how things work, how things, there's so much bullshit out there. They can throw a lot of $5 words at you, but... A lot of these people don't know shit. They know how to collect fees because they know they know how to play that game. They're idiots. So I got to say something about the bubble that supposedly is in silver and gold right now. It's not. It's not. It's going to be in the future. It's not a bubble just now. But you could take every single expert out there 30 years in a real estate market, 40 years in a real estate market, CPAs, MBAs, PhDs, Series 7s, brokers. Uh, I've been running this show for a million years. I know it's not going to go down that much. Every single one of those stupid bastards was wrong. Every single one. And you know, there were some of the best snake oil salesmen. You talk about J.P. Morgan. <laughs> They were selling everybody a bill of goods in this market before it crashed. That's really where they're probably getting in trouble for. There's a lot of stuff they played games with on uh, with the real estate market where they had people invest in it. And I'm not going to say other things I know because I'm privy to a few other things that you would not believe. I wish I could put it on here in a way. But, you know, what the hell? You know, listen to Alex Jones. He's a pile of shit. You know, I can't put stuff out here, and I don't know everything, but I could say, I could give a few stories out there. And I can give stories back going to New Jersey and New York, how things really work. Now, not this project. You guys know these kind of people were pretty, very tame. But other projects in the past, if it doesn't work, they force it to work one way or the other. That's exactly the way the game goes. They don't play games. They play hardball all the way. So that's exactly how it works. But I don't give a damn how many initials of people have behind their names, how long they've been in business, 
how much they think they know. They get overconfident. And you know, that's going to happen with gold and silver someday, too. The bubble is not over with. I know it ain't. And you know, I'll be getting nervous when silver starts getting well over 100 bucks an ounce. I'll be getting nervous then because I know all the pump and dumpers are going to be saying 500,000. I don't know what they're going to say. But whatever they say, it's a good way to judge the market is if you got every single pump and dumper out there freaking telling you it's going up, up, up. Well, guess what? They're probably wrong, 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 and that's time to start selling. Now, me, I'm going to play cautious because I'm not that much of a risk maneuver type person. I'm selling in steps. But I want to compare this gold and silver market to the real estate market. There was the naysayers back in the mid-90s saying it was in a bubble and it's not going to last that much longer. There was the naysayers in the early 2000s saying that, too. And there was people in 2006 saying, planning to freaking take the sky on, you know. Where do you think they got all these morons to buy all this shit at high prices? I didn't. <laughs> I would gladly uh, be part of selling them to people. No problem. No problem. Go ahead. Buy them, suckers. But usually the way people buy and bite into shit is because the image. The image. Yes, I have education behind me, and I've studied a long time, and I've studied a lot of different areas. And I have different degrees to my name, but big deal. I noticed that many times that people who are the most educated, they use that as a guise. They got no common sense whatsoever. None. None. The way they stay in business is fees. Fees, they're fee-based bullshit. As some people like put it sometimes succinctly, it's big bucks bullshit. That's all they are. <laughs> nice to have fun tearing them up. Because I always work for an entrepreneur. And you know, these bastards have come back to me saying, you're not an attorney. So no, I don't, I'm not an attorney, but I can think. It's common sense. So... But I think outside the box. And right now, people in the metals are in outside the box. Now, quite obviously, now, I don't want to put down David Morgan, but I know he said he got lucky and he sold on April 28, 2011. I says, that's great. I'm glad he said that. I don't think that guy's too bad because he did not give people really bad advice. He was telling people, even ahead of time, if you got double on it, sell half. That's why I don't mind that guy. But uh, I pay pretty close attention to him because he might slip up and give you a couple of gems there once in a while. Because quite obviously, there was a lot of people that knew what was going on in these markets. And their whole game was to slice up the freaking people that were, you know, hold long, hold long, hold long forever. So... But that's the same kind of game they played in the real estate market. And actually, J.P. Morgan was, that's where they're getting a lot of heat from, too. Not the silver. But this is the game they all do. They go to school so they could sell you a pile of bullshit. They're total predators. Think for yourself. The bubble for gold and silver is not over. But at one point in time, it's going to be just like the real estate market. There's going to be a million experts out there that have been in the gold business or the real estate business, just like they were in the real estate business, they are going to say, you can't lose, you can't lose, you can't lose. It's, it's not going to go down that much because it's got intrinsic value in it. You can make more arguments about real estate. You can easily make more arguments about real estate than you could about gold and silver because everybody or every business has to use it. The, a real estate or a building or a home to either live in or to conduct business. I mean, most people don't conduct businesses, you know, mobily. They always have a place, an office place or whatever. So everybody requires real estate. You have generation of income, right? You can have it by leasehold income or you can own the land and lease the land to somebody who owns the building that's on top of the land. There's a lot of ways you can make money on real estate. Now, obviously, the big bucks was made on real estate was capital gains. And yes, you know, you had to be very careful about that because if 
if you flip too much land, all of a sudden you become a dealer in land and you are all your revenue is recognized by its ordinary income. But I swear to God, man, I, I this market I was I wasn't playing around selling houses, doing all the number shit. As a matter of fact, most of the buildings and I, I didn't even see that shit. All I saw was money. That's all I gave a shit about. Where the money was being made and where the money was not being made. So that was my own I was like the homing pigeon for the freaking predators, you know? So I want to put it down to you this way. Beware of the freaking big bucks bullshit out there and the freaking people with initials after their names. Even in a gold and silver market. Big time. I don't give a shit how long they've been in business. You know, one indication that's telling me gold is going way the hell up. It's because that shrewd devil fox... Mark Farber's over 25% invested in it. He's not sure, but I don't think that's a losing bet. It might look like that in the, in, in the interim. And I know he had some uh, female interviewer talking to him and he going, well, Mark, you're Mark, you're losing right now because it went from 1700 down to 1600 But he's, you know, he looked like he was annoyed with that question because he had other investments that are producing some income. But the point is, he knows that you're gonna have that might be a little bit of a long term hold. But it looks like even if you just held the stuff a couple of years, you're fine. You're gonna make out like a fat rat. But beware. Beware the experts. I've seen them in the real estate market. <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. You know, I smelt something up with this bullshit and I was re I read a lot of different things. But you know, I don't care if they listen to me or not. But I do know this. The silver pump and dumpers, when 50 million of them come out of the woodwork and say silver's going up to 60 or 70, you should sell some. I don't know if that's going to be the top or not. I'm guessing that's going to be like uh, the next pullback phase. I might be wrong about that. But you should sell some, secure some gains. Um, but I, I think silver's going up to at least a couple hundred bucks an ounce. That's where I think it's gone. But there's a number of factors involved, so we don't know. But it's got a few more years. And I'm not saying that from high hopes. It's bullshit. And I swear to God, man, I know these bastards with the uh, initials after their names. $500 an hour attorneys will freaking talk to you all fucking day. They're assholes, man. They are. The snake in the ground assholes. They just freaking suck. They're like, you know, you think a ta you, you know, a retard would be smart enough to get mad at a taxi cab driver, but they're not smart enough to get mad at a freaking attorney racking up $500 an hour to talk to you about the freaking weather or some bullshit you can look up very easily. You know? That's why I only like working with predators that are 110% predators because chop those bills down to nothing. What did you really do for us? <laughs> I hate those kind of assholes, man. I really do. I only deal with freaking predator entrepreneurs, period. That's it. But I'm saying this right now. My strongest belief is that gold and silver is going to go way the hell up a lot more. But eventually, it's going to get into a bubble, just like the real estate market. And that's when you're going to have everybody in the world telling you it's a can't-lose investment. Yeah, I've been in a gold market for 30 years. Yeah, you could tell them what you could tell them what they are—bunch of bullshit. 